Miss Chance Wars 96 here with another very review. This time we have the Marvel Legends Avengers Hawkeye Infinite Series Build a Figure Wave of the All Father. So, yeah. So, this is Hawkeye, of course. Looking rather nice. You've got the box here, like I said. Really do like the style of this box. Do have some nice artwork of Hawkeye on the sides there. On the back, you have a good picture of the figure with a very short bio that really doesn't tell you too much. Um, and then the other figures in the assortment. Was able to find them all at Toys R Us, except for Captain Marvel. I'm still trying to hunt her down. Um, and yeah. And then there's the Build-A-Figure. As you can see, you can do the Odin or the King Thor uh, Build-A-Figure. I chose to go with Odin, though, so. I will be reviewing Odin instead of the King Thor. So yeah, so Hawkeye here. So now, whether you're buying, whether you're trying to build King Thor or um, Odin, you will need Hawkeye. Hawkeye comes with the torso. So of course, uh, the two figures, the two builder figures, share the same torso. So to build either one of them, you will need to buy Hawkeye. And yeah, he is going to be the most common figure out of the wave. Um, everybody in the wave is one per case, except for Hawkeye. Hawkeye is two per case. So I would recommend that if you see a bunch on the shelf of you know just all sorts of figures from this wave. I would not recommend getting Hawkeye first. I would recommend getting the others first um, because you you really shouldn't have a problem finding Hawkeye in the future. Um, I went to a store that had uh, had four of this guy and and barely had and had like one Iron Fist and one Sentry I think and those were it you know but they had four Hawkeyes of course um, so he is very common alright going over the actual figure I'm not quite sure if this is just a direct repaint or how close it is to the um, to the Hawkeye that came out in a in a recent wave, the uh, Rocket um, Rocket Raccoon wave. I know there was an Hawk a Hawkeye that came out in that wave. I'm not quite sure how close this is to the to that one. I'm not quite sure what style of Hawkeye this is supposed to be, because um, the box just says Hawkeye. It doesn't say a particular Hawkeye. Um, yet this this looks like a very strange Hawkeye to me. It looks like it's got a little more purple than the average Hawkeye, as well as this arm does look a little strange. But I'll go over that in a little bit. As you can see, face sculpt is quite nice. They did the, the paint they did it quite well um, of course I did have many to choose from on the shelf like I said so I was able to pick the one with the best paint apps but most of them had pretty good paint apps so I wouldn't say that that's a big concern I do like the top section of his armor there his costume it is scaled which does look very nice and the purple on this guy is very bright metallic purple which does look really cool except for his bow the bow is a little bit more of a flat purple um, it almost crosses the line of sliding uh, starting to get a little pink uh, which is a little annoying but not too bad at all he has a very dark purple maybe even dark blue um, bodysuit underneath with gloves and uh, and on his head as well which does look nice and then he does have a nice bright um, purple uh, highlighting on the boots which I do think looks quite nice. As you can see, he does have one normal arm, and his left arm is um, uh, kind of lined on this. I'm not quite sure if this is actually supposed to be a robotic arm, or if that's just supposed to be his costume design. I'm not quite sure what Hawkeye this is based off of, so I can't tell you that. Um, but this is a reused arm from the um, Captain America the Winter Soldier figure, the movie figure. Um, of course, this is his robotic arm, and that's why he's got the trigger finger in the whole bit. So I'm not quite sure if this Hawkeye is supposed to have a mechanical arm or if this is just supposed to be like the detailing on his costume. If you guys know, I'd love to know in the comics, uh, in the um, comic, uh, uh, keep wanting to say comics, in the comments, so let me know. Overall looking quite nice, so articulation wise he has a ball hinge neck, uh, so complete rotation on that. He has hinge swivel um, shoulders that are on ratchets. So you can hear the ratchets in the hinges on uh, the shoulders. Bicep swivel, double hinge elbows, swivel hinge wrists. Um, the hinge can be a bit hard to move forward. It, it only goes forward about that much, but still fine. You've got an ab crunch, which is a little limited by his costume, of course, but you can get a little bit of movement on, uh, out of there. Not much, though. He has a swivel waist, ball joint thighs with thigh swivel, double hinge knees, swivel at the boots, and then hinge pivoting ankles, overall holding the same stand articulation of a Marvel Legends modern figure so yeah he comes with the bow the bow is overall designed really nice does have a clear place for his hand and fits in really well the bow the actual string when I originally got it it was bent in very far um, and all I did to fix that and this wasn't even intentionally to fix it it just because I wanted to display him like this I wanted to display him 
like this, where he, you know he had the his his uh, his arrow or um, his bow on his back, just kind of shrunk up like that. And I left him like that overnight, and the string stayed like this ever since. So that's a really easy fix to do if if your string is a little messed up. He does come with a nice quiver, as you can see the detail on the actual um, case is quite nice, and then all the detail on the uh, arrows itself are very good. I'm trying to get them to stand. And they do look nice, they're just kind of like a white on the feather part, and then they do just kind of like run a little bit of purple on the top, which does look quite nice, I have to say, and it is just on a peg that easily pegs into his back. If you mess around with him too much, that is prone to fall off, um, but if you have him just on your shelf, it's not going to fall off or anything, or even if you tip... Okay, maybe if you tip him over, it'll fall off. It doesn't stay in as sturdy as I would have liked, but it's not a major inconvenience. It's it's a rather small uh, little nitpick of mine, um, so not a, not a big deal, but something worth um, mentioning, I have to say. Overall, this figure is quite nice. I'm not like over, you know, I'm not super excited about it. It's kind of a relatively plain character, considering there's been so many versions of Hawkeye in the past. Um, yet this this one's fine. You know, it's got a body sculpt that we've kind of seen before on all the other figures, um, but, you know, does look quite nice. I like to use him as a Dark Avenger. I think his coloring and the kind of robotic arm fits him better as, like, Bullseye in the hockey, in the Hawkeye costume um, when he's a Dark Avenger, so I like to display him with Sentry and, um, and, uh, Miss Marvel and, uh, and Iron Patriot as a Dark Avenger rather than Hawkeye. So that's just me, though, my personal opinion. Overall, not a bad figure. Would not recommend it if you're not a big Hawkeye fan or if you're not building a Build-A-Figure. If you are a big Hawkeye fan or a Dark Avenger fan or you are building a Build-A-Figure, then obviously this one is going to be one that you'll uh, you'll definitely enjoy and uh, like to have. So yeah, so there you go. That's my video review of the Marvel Legends All-Father Wave Hawkeye. Thanks so much for watching.